praise the Lord Church. My name is Maxine Jokona. It's always an honor and a privilege to share with you the word of faith. And I would like to welcome your consideration for a quick reflection around this simple thought. Remember Habakkuk. Remember Habakkuk. One of the questions that has lingered in our minds through this time is how long is this pandemic going to last? For how long are the systems of our lives going to be disrupted because of this pandemic? When are we going back to the normal routines of life? And these are questions that we continue to battle with within our minds, even as we continue to seek the Lord for answers and even as we continue to seek after the Lord so that he can give us the assurance of his strength in this season. These questions that we have in our minds, the questions that you and I have in our minds in regards to the situations of difficulties that we find ourselves in, are the same questions that Habakkuk the prophet presented before the Lord. When we get into Habakkuk chapter 1, the first verses of Habakkuk chapter 1, the introduction of that book is captured in questions where Habakkuk comes before the Lord and asks the Lord, for how long will the wicked prevail against the righteous? For how long, Lord, are we going to see violence and ruin and pain in the land? And Habakkuk draws in before the Lord to seek for answers. And he gleans in to hear a response from the Lord. And when you flash through chapter 1 and through chapter 2, the Lord responds back and tells Habakkuk that even though the earth is full of violence, that even though the earth is full of pain, that even though the earth is full of, of rain, I want you to remember, Habakkuk, that my promise to you and to your people is that the earth will be filled by my glory and that I shall send arrows and spears to torment and to destroy every wicked person who has risen against you. It is in these chapters where again the Lord promises Habakkuk and tells Habakkuk, write down the vision on the stone tablets so that the hearer may run to, with it. But even as they run, I want to assure you that every promise that I have assured you in my presence shall come to pass. And when Habakkuk closes his book, he closes his book with these words. He says that even though the olives have not yet budded, that even though I cannot see grapes in the trees, that even though there are not sheep in the sheepfold, that even though there are no cattle in the stalls, yet shall I rejoice because the Lord will strengthen my feet like the feet of a deer and I shall be able to trend upon the heights. What started as a complaint has now evolved into a testimony. What started as pain has evolved into good tidings. Habakkuk came before the Lord with a lot of pain, but he walks away from his presence with strength and joy, and he closes the book with the assurance of God's presence. I invite you this season to spend your time in the presence of the Lord, because every moment spent in the presence of the Lord will change every complaint into a testimony and every difficulty into a place of joy. Whatever happens in this season, whatever pain that you may go through in this season, as we seek for a solution, as we seek for a continued answer before the Lord, may you remember Habakkuk. May the words of Habakkuk be an encouragement to you in this season. And remember that the Lord will strengthen you like the feet of a deer and you will trample upon every difficulty. This is your word. This is my word. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>